car keys dropped into a balloon glass. This is a key party. Key parties are the latest game of chance, more exciting than bingo. It's the latest party gimmick to whet the jaded appetites of some of London's party set. Come on, everybody run. You're in the middle, come on. Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers all day long. She sits and sews all day long. She sews and sits. Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers all day long. She sits and sews all day long. She sews and sits. Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers all day long. She sits and sews all day long. She sews and sits. Look, I've got a good game. Have you got an umbrella or walking? The evening begins with some harmless, even naive party games. But this husband is not so sure. Those keys do have a significance. Even, for some, a disturbing significance. One. Two. The wife is eager. Why? Well, at the end of the evening, we'll return and see. Come on, everybody, let's have a game. This is a game. Our party is gathering momentum. Parties used to be given for people to meet and talk to one another. They might even develop friendships that would last a lifetime. This party is different. Here, nobody cares about tomorrow. They don't know if there'll be one. The farthest these people are willing to look into the future is who goes home with whom. The only rule is that you don't go home with the partner you came with. The keys will decide. I've got that Key party continues. Music and alcohol have served their social purpose to blur the edges of what is accepted. Adult petting of this kind has a word to describe it: sophisticated. The husband who watches is not so certain. Events go forward under their own momentum, and lottery time is here. On, everybody, break it up! Break it up! Come on, let's play the key game. Uh, you, Angela, come on. The final degradation of love, the sex lottery, chance made absolute. It's the Jaguar. Come on, who is it? Ah, oh, Tony. <laughs> what shall we have next? Um, Peggy, you come on. Oh. Now it's the wife's turn. Is her husband sufficiently anesthetized with alcohol? <laughs> Apparently he is, or if he isn't, he has to conform. Emotion has no place here. <laughs> it's the trial. Who's this? She's doing it. Why shouldn't I? Is a ready phrase for going on with it. This is the death of love. When you take a chance on a car key, then the respect essential to love is thrown away. In the name of fun, and in pursuit of the transitory kick, ordinary decency is thrown out of the window. Life must look sick to anyone willing to compromise it in this fashion. Psychiatrists will explain that one of the marks of the delinquent personality is an incapacity to look ahead, an incapacity to postpone present excitement in the hope of future happiness. These people are true delinquents. Where now is future happiness? An hour's boredom dissipated into a lifetime of regret.
put their happiness in jeopardy, risk their marriage, and mortgage their children's future. Their present justifications may seem reasonable viewed through the bottom of a glass, but the party was tonight. What about tomorrow? There's one certainty in all this. The hangover lasts longer than the state of intoxication.